Okay, we oh. hope everybody enjoyed today because, boy, our weather is changing. Yeah, it really is. You know, it's interesting. We've got another round of high clouds, so it's kind of cloudy out mm -hmm. there, but it's still warm. Here is a look downtown Portland. You can see one of those boats uh, out along the river there. Lots of cars out this evening. You're probably still going to need your air conditioning. These temperatures, 77 degrees. It's a nice warm afternoon. Not as warm as yesterday, but still a nice one to get out and about. But here's a look at our weather headlines. We've got increasing clouds for today. Still Still pretty warm, but we have some changes tomorrow. We're going to see the rain develop late tonight. Steady rain, a little bit of a drier afternoon for Thursday, but we've got some active days in our forecast. Friday and Saturday, we're looking at downpour sun, even some thunderstorms and hail. But let's take a look at those temperatures out along the coast. Upper 60s currently in Seaside, 59 degrees Astoria, as well as Oceanside. 61 degrees in Pacific City. Metro area is still pretty warm, almost 80 degrees in Lake Oswego, mid 70s West Lynn, 76 degrees in Beaverton, 77 in Tiger. Downtown, 80 degrees, still nice out there if you're planning to go see the boats along the river. 80 degrees in Milwaukee, upper 70s in Battleground. Hood River is a warm, 78 degrees there, 86 degrees in the Dalles. And for the rest of the state, we've got mid 80s for Madras, 75 degrees in Corvallis, as well as for Salem. Now let's talk about this changing weather. As we look to our Doppler and radar to our west, we start to see this low pressure system. You can kind of see it spinning there, already starting to bring some rain to Northern California. It will slowly move into our neighborhood this evening. As of right now, it does look like we see a little bit of sprinkles down towards Eugene in Newport, just some high clouds over Portland, the Dalles, and Madras. But I do want to kind of break down this timing. So it looks like most of the rain is going to be moving towards the coastal area 7 to 10 o'clock tonight night. For the metro area, an I-5 corridor more around 10 o'clock to 2 a.m. tonight, and then by tomorrow morning it will start to move out towards Hood River and the Dalles. Let's roll through the rain and cloud forecast. So by tonight again, there you see most of the rain right along the beach communities. We might see a little bit up towards the Cascades, but by tomorrow morning we really see that rain for a wet commute, and then it continues to move eastward throughout the afternoon. But what you will notice tomorrow is the rain starts heavy in the morning, and then gets more light and scattered throughout the afternoon. So it won't be as heavy as when we start the day. You're still going to see some showers into Friday morning as well. We could even see a few pop-up thunderstorms by Friday afternoon. How much rain can we see? Well, from late tonight into to tomorrow evening, we could see almost over a quarter of an inch for Portland, over half an inch towards Astoria. More of the rain will be down towards Newport, the south part of our area, and almost half an inch towards the Dallas. So definitely some good rainfall compared to what we have been seeing. The next five days are looking pretty wet. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Slight chances for Monday. It does look like we start to dry out by Tuesday, but definitely more of a wet forecast than what we've been seeing lately. Overnight temperatures in the upper 50s. Again, rain develops. Temperature won't be cool, but if you have any of those outdoor patio furniture that can't get wet tonight, bring that in because rain will be there again by late tonight, tomorrow morning. It will be breezy as well. We're we'll watching those winds gusting near 20 to 25 miles per hour. Around the rest of the state, upper 50s out along the coast, you'll definitely notice a difference in temperatures and some thunderstorm chances again out towards the eastern part of the state. Next seven days, staying in the mid 60s pretty much through the weekend. So Outdoor activities, just bring a light raincoat. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be really cold, but definitely a bit wetter. Now we can handle that just a little bit. Miss? Yeah, not bad. Good. Thanks, Clint.